As I was bored out of my mind, searching for the meaning of life through an electronic portal dumpster, I decided to melt my brain with an everlasting love of mine, a love that any human being, regardless of race, gender, waist size, or penile gland deficiency can relate to, and that is watching a good fucking movie. Clute is a 1971 neo-noir crime thriller film directed by Alan Pakula. The plot consists of a small town detective played by Donald Sutherland who is searching for a missing man. His only lead is a connection with a New York prostitute played beautifully by Jane Fonda. As I was browsing HBO Max, nothing was really grabbing my attention. Posters in modern Hollywood are pretty mediocre at best, with a few exceptions of course. As I was browsing the Turner Classic specifically, I stumbled upon this and it immediately grabs you. You are Donald Sutherland in the picture. You are the main detective in the poster. You're curious, intrigued, aroused, and shocked by her enticing, pervasive aura of the feminine, and you are lost within her arms. Jane Fonda is the heart and soul of this movie. She is approached by Donald, inquiring about his case. He has been hired to locate a missing executive who frequented Jane Fonda for sexual pleasure. With no leads, Donald attempts to see how this prostitute is connected in this web of lust. In all honesty, the plot really doesn't matter. I don't want to waste your time on that. The main reason for this video really is Jane Fonda. Her performance as Brie Daniels is something that should be seen by those who live a life of duality. Why you ask? Why would I want to see a story about some prostitute? Because of what the film and Jane Fonda allows you to see under the skin. Jane Fonda aka Brie Daniels is a prostitute. Yes, we know this, but one who self-consciously knows what she is doing is not good for her. But also on the flip side, she revels in the fact that men come to her for artificial love. She enjoys being wanted and lusted over by multiple men. She plays, she plays the game well. She is a seducer of kings. She's like the devil incarnate. She seduced Adam into taking the apple. She knows the underbelly of men's hearts and uses this to take whatever power they think they have over themselves. Throughout the first half of the movie, both Donald and Jane need to work together to solve this mystery, right? As she tempts and tempts and tempts Donald into having sex with her, he declines her advances. Finally, after sleeping in the same room, she slowly crawls towards his bed like a snake in the grass, right? And disregards Donald's privacy, giving him no room to say no. They finally have sex. Donald's character is impressive in bed as she moans and moans, right? Once the scene is over, he lays there, almost in a submissive position of defeat. And as she's leaving the apartment, she says this. What's the matter? You were terrific. A real tiger. Are you upset because you didn't make me come? I never come with a John. Don't feel bad about losing your virtue. I sort of knew you would. Everybody 
always does. You're probably thinking, why on earth would I want to watch a film about her, right? Following her. She's awful. Well, yeah, that's exactly my point. If this were another modern movie, it would simply make her really one-dimensional and call it a day. But not this movie. You see her being torn from the inside out. The film allows you to view her therapy sessions. And let me tell you, this is some of the most honest to God, realistic therapy sessions I have ever witnessed on film. She is dying from the inside. She explains how this lifestyle helps her to not feel alone and feel wanted. Donald Sutherland is the only person who doesn't treat her like shit or an object. He treats her like a normal human being. She is so bewildered that she doesn't know whether to view this as a negative or a positive. Unfortunately, she can't help but ruin this possible relationship through rebelling. Hooking up with her previous John instead of Donald, running away, etc, etc. You see her crying and looking physically sick as Donald Sutherland is caring for her, as if she was dying of some sort of disease. I cannot think of another movie that shows the deep effects negative activities have on the body and the spirit. In summary, the 70s gem is masterfully acted, well shot, and greatly executed. Jane Fonda would go on to win the Oscar for Best Actress at the Oscars. And let me tell you, she fucking deserved it. Clute is available on HBO Max and on Blu-ray via the Criterion Collection. If you like this movie, I definitely recommend Chinatown and The Panic at Needle Park. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I really appreciate it and have a fantastic day, everyone. Okay? Bye-bye. Thank you.